Overnight lows really not that close to zero anymore. 18 Trenton, Kansas City 20, Ottawa also about 20 degrees. And the bus stop forecast, kind of like where I was at Corinth Elementary School in Leewood today, but tomorrow will still be about the same. Wind chills in the 20s, a mostly clear sky. Then mostly sunny in the afternoon, high temperature of 44, only the beginning of things to come. In advanced planning, your hour by hour, a cold start to your day right at 20, 38 by lunchtime and continuing to warm up, and then go into 44, the normal high temperature by comparison, about 38. So in previous mornings, we had to deal with wind chills. Don't think we have to worry about that as temperatures really will start to warm up. Look at that. The coldest it gets is 11 above zero. So this colder air is shrinking, and that's because of a pattern change that Nick's going to talk about. That's right, Brian. We've been talking about this pattern change for quite a while now. And basically, the jet stream is going to set itself up that it will block the Arctic air from coming down into the lower 48. Over the last month or two, it seems this big trough of Arctic cold has been entrenched across the eastern half of the country. Well, that jet stream will lift to the north and it will allow a mild Pacific flow to come in from the west of the east across most of the nation. And that will mean mild conditions here in Kansas City with 40s for afternoon highs and even 50s. By the time we get into the weekend, you remember what it was like when it was 50 degrees, Brian? Yeah, it was a while back. <laughs> I'm sure uh, history professors are talking about it. It's been so long. 44 in Leavenworth, DeSoto the same. Gardner at 43 degrees, plenty of sunshine. Closer to that 435. Loop Smithville, you're going to peak out at 46 tomorrow. 43 in Shawnee, open in Park 45. Kansas City officially about 44. And now to the east, middle 40s as a rule. Independence the coolest at 43, but Lee Summit at 45. And here's what Nick was talking about in the seven day forecast. First couple of days, we go from 44 tomorrow to 52 degrees on Friday. A three day weekend for some folks. We're talking to be close to, say, 50 degrees on Monday, the Martin Luther King holiday itself, 53 on Saturday, and still close to 50 degrees both those mornings. As we go toward the morning temperatures, close to freezing as well. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, look at the temperatures 32 in the morning. 47 the afternoon high, 27 to about 38 degrees on Wednesday as some cooler air moves in, but this stuff will be coming in from the Pacific as opposed to coming in from Canada.